Hey guys, Sean again, Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on YouTube. We've got another episode of Lifts and Levels. Uh, what we're trying to do is just show you every leveling kit, if they're different makes and models, so that you can kind of just get an idea of what we're doing. Then also the lift kits will get more in depth. So this one, we're going to do a pro ride set of keys. This is basically 02, 03, 04, 05 Avalanche. So 02 to 05, they all have the uh, torsion system. The 02, 03 is a little different than the 04, 05, but the general concept is the same stuff. So. What you're gonna get with the key setup is basically a pair of duck heads. And these are gonna be your new torsion keys, which are much more aggressive than the factory ones. And that's how you start to push that uh, suspension down truck up. And then you're gonna have your adjuster bro blocks and then the adjuster bolts. So every kit's gonna come with two different sizes. It's gonna have the shorter set. This is if you've got brand new suspension that's all nice and stiff and like the day it was when it came from the factory. So we pretty much will never use those for this year make and model vehicle. And then there's the longer ones which are made more for the wore out suspension so that you can actually get a crank out of them. Because what'll happen is you'll put these new keys in the new uh, adjuster brackets and you'll put these bolts and you'll basically bottom out and you'll not have gotten any lift out of it. And that's where these guys come in. And then the other piece that you're gonna see in here are gonna be these uh, shock spacers. So if these shocks hadn't lived their entire life the last 11 years in Wisconsin, you would pop the top bolt off, the top, ouch, I, I was attacked by that WD-40. This top bolt would come off, you'd put that spacer in here and then you'd reattach it. The problem is with all the corrosion on these, if we try to do that, it's gonna snap that stud off most likely and the customer's gonna have to get new shocks and he doesn't want new shocks right now. So we'll advise him to put these in his glove box and when he swaps his shocks out, he can put these on if he doesn't feel like he has enough lift or actually, if it, it's not the lift, let me re-say that. If he's feeling like there's too much extension on that shock, because what it's gonna do is by not pushing that down, when he does hit a bump, it may fully extend that shock and he might hear a clunking and that means he needs new shocks, which would be good anyways. And then he can put those spacers in there. So what we're gonna do and you'll see that this truck is already completely uh, covered in uh, penetrator because these keys have been under here for 11 years, 12 years. I don't know what year it is right now, 13 years. So they're super corroded and this bolt's not gonna come out of here and basically all this stuff will be seized. So it's covered in penetrator and it's just starting to loosen up. And then we'll go ahead and pull that apart. So. Mr. Fuller will uh, video that whole process and show you that we're basically gonna drop those keys out of there, put the new, pull the torsion bars forward, put the new keys in there, and then crank everything back up so you get to see all that. And then we'll do wheels and tires, drop this thing on the ground so you show you what she looks like. So we'll be back in a bit.
Okay, so what you guys saw is it's really simple. You just pull the keys out and it's all done. You put the new ones in, you wish. So this is why I think a lot of guys will just see the keys, kind of look at the instructions, go, I'm gonna do this myself in my driveway, throw it up on a couple jack stands, start pounding away it, and then realize they're in trouble because they can't get them out of there. So we have a lot of people that tried and then bring the truck in because they had to give up. On the older vehicles, especially up here in Salt World, the Salt Belt, I think I heard people calling it lately, um, he had to end up cutting them out of there. So it can be really, really difficult to get those old keys out of there to be able to put the new ones in. But once you get past that point, you can throw them back in there. And then what you'll see is, you know, we have a floor drain right here, so obviously it's kind of sitting down, but actually this truck is perfectly level now. It brought that front up about two and a half inches. So now you're sitting level. And what that does is it creates this bigger space here. So now he's got 10 wides and a 275.55, which is basically a 32 by 11.2, which would have never, ever, ever fit, especially on a 10 wide negative 24 offset wheel without that leveling kit. But with that leveling kit, 10 wide negative 12s? You have that other video, so. So the, don't watch the other video because you'll know I lied. These are actually negative 12s, so they're about a half inch in compared to a negative 24. So it's a 20 by 10 negative 12, and then a 32 by 11.2. And you'll see that all he had to trim was this tiny bit fuller if you come look in there. And it's literally just plastic. It's the inner of this, and then the bottom of the valence. Swoop it out, and it's done. Doesn't rub it all in the back. And that's what this 275.55 is. On a leveled avalanche, it's basically the perfect fit for really minor trimming. If you went with a 33, 12 and a half, you'd have to do more trimming up there. And I think you have to start at least bouncing that back a little bit with a hammer on a leveled avalanche. So that is your leveling keys from uh, Pro Ride, which is a kit that we really, we really like because it has a lot more adjustment some, than some of the other ones, some of the cheaper kits. So that is lifts and levels. Make sure you tune in. We have a bunch of BDS lift kits coming up. So I think those are gonna be awesome. Those are coming your way. We're doing one next week. We're doing two next week. I think we might be doing three next week, at least two of them are next week and then one the following week. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe on the YouTube, make sure you follow on the Facebook and check us out on the Instagram.